All right, folks. Beautiful day here around the ranch. Around our little hacienda here that I have nicknamed the Alamo. <clears throat> so you got Miss Marissa chopping up the potatoes and the carrots. And she's using my Leatherman tool. What we got over there some pork. Where the hell is my chicken? Anyhow, it's a beautiful day out here. I was gonna sit out here and do a video because it's got some sunshine, but dude's over there rubbing on the rubbing on the new construction and it's making that whoosh, 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 sound. So I said, you know what? I got a project. <clears throat> I gotta restring these fishing poles here that my mom sent for the kids because see if I get that in frame there hopefully you can see that yes yeah, so I gotta I gotta restring these little fishing poles and my mom sent them for the kids that's spider-man for the Forest G and that's Maria's but folks the good thing about these things okay they telescope down right now that's actually a proper little reel and it came I don't know what pound test it came with but it I hooked the big fish over there on that other fishing video if you saw it and it broke the line so, so I said you know Luckily, luckily my mom, thanks mom, she sent a spool of 25 pound test. So I guess take this cheap stuff off of here and put this 25 pound test. And folks, believe it or not, these damn things can catch proper fish. Now yes, they're the kids, but the, the reason that I'm gonna set them up for real fishing is this will fit in my satchel. Both these things fit in my Indiana gear bag. And so if we're out and about somewhere and there's a good spot to throw a line in, guess what? I got two in my satchel and we'll go to work because the old lady loves to fish after I took her on that first little trip. And you know, we live right here by the beach. So I said, shit, we'll just, we'll just put some proper line on here and I'll keep a little bit of tackle on a couple of these in my satchel and we'll see what we come up with and actually today what I'm contemplating since it's sunny I'm thinking about calling my buddy Francis and telling him to come pick me up on the tricycle and he and I go should have managed to take that screw out we may go fishing I think I need to remove that screw this one, no. That one just screws off there, but I mean, it looks like a kid's toy, but that's how to catch a fish. I mean, we're catching them small fish over there. Yeah, I gotta take that screw out. So I gotta, I gotta steal her leatherman tool for a minute and stop her from chopping these uh, carrots. All right, so here we go. So. I think I need to remove that screw. <laughs> Force cheese fired up about something. I'll take that screw out. Oop, oop. Lose that bastard. Okay, alright, so that one just stays on with the screw. Set that over there. I don't lose it. And yes, I know you can't see it, but that, that line right there is so thin, that's, what is that, three, four pound test, something like that. That's not going to work when we're trying to hook a fish up at the beach, so I need to bust this open. And just re-spool it. We'll re-spool it with this 25 pound test, and then I'm probably going to call my man Francis. I mean, there's a big ass storm coming this way. So we're gonna get pissed on for no telling how long. We've already been being pissed on for 
for months. Uh, for over a month. Yes, okay. So I'm just going to... Uh, Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save that line. I'll save it. But I gotta get something to put it on. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Look at that. And I'll, I'll get some bamboo and stuff. We'll make a couple more rides out of this, uh, this low, low test line here. I guess I should tie it off. Let me just tie that off. It would probably help if I put some light over here because I can't see shit. You know, it was like when when I left America, like one of the, especially when I, I got on this side of the world, the Middle East. God damn it, I can't see shit. It's like they there was nothing but fluorescent lights. Mm -hmm. And I can't stand fluorescent lights. So goddamn depressing. And you're starting to see a shift. Uh, a lot of people are starting to use you know, like warm white, different lighting, LED stuff. But like when I first left the US years ago, it's like everywhere had these fluorescent lights. Iraq, Afghanistan, Thailand, Cambo, a lot of places still do. But damn, the fluorescent lighting is fucking depressing. And there's some fluorescent lights in this house, like what I'm, what I'm using right now, and it's just so depressing. And what I did, I went and I've uh, replaced, I replaced the, uh, the bulbs you know, with warm white LEDs. And for me, I just didn't you know, feel better because this old fluorescent lighting just reminds me reminds me of a fucking hospital back in the 70s. And I don't know why. It's just depressing. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this stuff up. We'll save this line and I'll make some uh, cane poles. Don't waste any of this line. And then I'll re-spool it with the other stuff. Alright, put this dude back together. Put the whole line off of there. Got it saved. Put this dude back in here, like so. So far, so good. There we go. So let me make sure it's gonna start reeling here. Certainly it is. I'll put the screw back in where I don't lose the screw. Man. All right. Fourth G. I'm fixing your fishing pole here, man, where you catch a nice sized fish. Steal the leather until <laughs> steal the uh, kitchen knife over there that she's been using to cut the vegetables. All right, so tighten up that, tighten up that screw. All right. Okay, so now. The Spider Man. Damn, did I tear that shit up? Okay, alright, so there we go. Got the Spider Man tied off. And just re spool it here. 
on our way. 25 pound test going on the Spider-Man. Ah, a technical glitch. My damn button fell off. I don't know how that Back to the drawing board, my friends. It's not, it's probably much safer to close a knife when you start working with it. It's <clears throat> got chicken grease and pork grease all over it. All right, so let's try to keep this from getting all unspooled. Damn it. We'll pop this guy out and see what went wrong. That's got to go back in there. Somehow. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Hmm. Seems like that has to pop up there. Maybe I need to put that in there first. Okay, now I think we're in business. I get that back down in there. I think now we might be back in business. Much easier fishing with a cane pole. You got all these problems. Okay, so the question is, is it fixed? Okay, push the button. All right, now it seems to be fixed. I'm gonna leave that screw out of there until I get a spool. Okay, and I think that at this point, I put too much. Oh, yeah, you dumbass, you put way too much. All right, no problem. So we'll just back it off of there. Should have checked it. The button's still working, no problem. So I'll tighten it back up on the line. Take a little bit off. And then this little reel should be good to go, my friends. Catch a big old fish over at the beach. No more snapping my line when I hook into that big one. Second, let me push the button. Okay, all right, go that way. All right, that's good. Hold up. All right, folks, hold on. Let's see if this shit's gonna reel in pretty good. I didn't tell you to act like a fish. Just. All right, folks, I caught a Filipina. <laughs> it's a big one, too. I need more than 25 pound test for fighting man. All right, thank you, baby. Thanks for assisting with my putting these fishing poles together. What are you cooking for us today? What are we cooking? Oh, we got some broccoli. Folks, we grilling every damn day. 
every day we're grilling. I'll pop the top on this and see what we're cooking for the baby over here. What's Forrest G going to eat? Oh, potatoes, carrots, sweet potatoes. Forrest G got a meal going down. All right, who's going to start the grill? Me. All right. All right, folks, get back to the other fishing pole here. All right, so this little kit that my mom sent the kids. Well, that's that's my daughter's, but it's actually uh, I don't you know I don't have a damn tackle box but that came with it. You know, this one came with four G's. So it actually works out good because again, this all this kit is gonna fit in my damn Indiana gear bag, my satchel. So everywhere we go, we're gonna have the capability to fish. When we live at the beach and live around the water, I mean, shoot, that's always a good thing to, uh, a good capability to have. Let me see what I got here. Okay, looks like I do have some steel leaders, maybe one. Put that guy on there. That's what I've got right there. Let me use this dude. What she did, she just picked some pack of random gear from Walmart. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I mean, how can you beat that? All right, that's all I got. Hell yeah, that's ready made. That's ready made setup right there. So I just go with that. Why get complicated, and folks? When you get old, you get older, and your damn eyes aren't that good, especially in the low light. It ain't as easy getting your fishing gear together anymore. Yeah, I could get some reading glasses, but I ain't ready for that shit yet. I mean, you ready for that? All right, so I know everybody, you bust me up on how I tie this on here. Everybody's got their own method, right? I just do the old spin it around a few times. Spin it around a few. Take that man if I can see it. Damn. Let me get rid of this fluorescent light. This thing's out of here. As soon as I get to the damn hardware store. And it just cinch that dude down. There we go. I'm gonna chop off this little piece. Our scissors have seen better days. The fucking man's got some type of rope tied around to fix them. In America, your scissors get fucked up. You just throw that shit away over here. Oh man, other countries. We actually still fix things. All right, folks, so look at there. We are in business. All right, so there's your final product. All right, and now what I do to get it in my satchel, just collapse that down. That's as far as it'll reel up, but the whole thing, you gotta be careful a little bit about it getting tangled, but look, so there's the whole thing right there. That whole thing is ready to go in my Indiana gear bag. You know, I can take these little small tackle boxes. Yeah, so if we're out and about, have the opportunity, we're gonna throw lines in. Start catching fish, my friends. All right, now to strip out the, uh, the daughter's fishing pole here. 
again we're going to save this line and make some cane poles out of it. All right, my friends, that's what we're left with. Got the kids riding reels here. 25 pound tests with some little steel leaders. And Forrest G's little tackle box with the hooks. And Maria's tackle box with these weights. And got a Leatherman tool. And can't leave home without the beer opener. So there you go. All that shit's gonna fit in my. Oh, hold on, I almost forgot. We got some corks, some floats, whatever you want to call them. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so my mom sent a bunch of stuff in these Ziploc bags. This is the first time I've seen Ziploc bags of this quality in a long time. I said, hell, I ain't throwing these things out. Hell no. So look at there, you put them in the Ziploc bags for two reasons. Number one, it's gonna keep them from getting tangled up on other shit in my satchel. And number two, if we catch some fish, boom, we just put the fish in the Ziploc bag. we we'll bring them back to the crib. And that's what it looks like. Got camera gear here, microphones, fishing poles. I'll put my wallet in there. Put my travel wallet right there. Flip it over. There we go. All right. Locked, cocked, and ready to rock for any potential fishing situation. All right, let me check on the status status of this grill situation going on out here. Ladies, you still trying to start the grill? Yeah. The, ano po kasi, the charcoal is not that good. Not good charcoal? It's nice for but it's just kind a little bit wet. Mmm, got the wet charcoal. Yeah. Alright, well maybe I'll break down and buy you ladies the uh, charcoal starter like Dennis bought, but it's expensive. It's a thousand pesos. No need that. No need? Okay. Oh my gosh. 